In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your iOS app so you can start generating iOS builds and sync your in-app purchases with the ones you've set up in your Apple developer account. Before you begin, make sure you've connected your Apple developer account in the BuddyBoss app plugin under configure iOS settings. And we have a tutorial here to walk you through the process. The first step in configuring your iOS app is creating your bundle ID. A bundle ID uniquely identifies your app in Apple's ecosystem. So this means no two applications have the same bundle identifier. To avoid conflicts, Apple encourages developers to use a reverse domain name, such as com.domain.appname. So for example, if your domain is www.fruit.com and your app is called oranges, you would use com.fruit.oranges as your release app bundle ID. For your test app, you can just add .test at the end. So for example, com.fruit.oranges.test. So let's go ahead and create our bundle ID right now. Head over to the Apple developer portal. I've got mine open in the tab here. And after you've logged in, go to account, certificates, identifiers, and profiles. And on the left, click identifiers, then click the plus button and continue. Make sure app is selected and continue. Now write a description. I'll say live bundle ID. And I'm going to use our example from earlier. So that's com.fruits.oranges. And to enable the capabilities we need, let's scroll down and find push notifications and sign in with Apple. All right, go ahead and click continue and register. And there we go. Our bundle ID is registered. Now I'm going to register my test bundle ID. Click plus, continue, continue again. Test bundle ID. And that's com.fruits.oranges.test. Enable the capabilities again. and continue. Register. And we're done with our bundle IDs. So let's go ahead and enter them back on the Buddy Boss app plugin. Here I am in iOS settings. So I'm going to scroll down and find my bundle IDs. Make sure to refresh your bundle IDs to pick up your new ones you just created. And then in release, select your release bundle ID. And in test, your one with dot test. Okay, so let's save our changes. All right, we're done with bundle IDs. Now let's get our signing certificate. A signing certificate is included in your app. So when it's installed, the device knows it hasn't been tampered with since it was built. Now creating a signing certificate can be a complicated process. So we've built automations directly into the BuddyBoss app plugin that creates them for you and registers them in your Apple developer account. To use this automation, scroll down to signing certificates click automatically generate signing certificates and save your changes. All right, now scrolling down, we can see both a release app and test app signing certificate has been created. Awesome. So let's move on to provisioning profiles. A provisioning profile acts as a link between your iOS device and your developer account. To generate profiles automatically, click the Generate Profiles checkbox. Also note, you can upload your own files. Be aware that for test apps, the devices you want to test on need to be included into this profile. When you generate profiles automatically, we generate a new profile every time a device is registered. All right, so let's save changes. Scrolling down, and there we go. Both provisioning profiles have been created. Next, we're going to create your app in App Store Connect. First, go to appstore.apple.com and log in with the Apple ID you created your developer account with. Once you're in, click on Apps, and then we can create our app by clicking the plus button. And New App. First, select iOS. Now, enter the name that you want to show up on the App Store. Choose your primary language. 
I'll choose English. For your bundle ID, choose your live bundle ID you created. And for your SKU, just put any unique identifier. No one can see this publicly. I usually use my bundle ID. If you have users on your App Store Connect account already, you can choose which ones have access to this app by clicking limited access or give access to all of them by clicking full access. And go ahead and click create. Cool, our app's created. Now we just need our app ID for our Buddy Boss app plugin settings. Go to app information, scroll down and find Apple ID. Copy this and go to your Buddy Boss app plugin. Now under configure, iOS settings, scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and under app information, paste this app ID and click save changes. All right, if you don't plan to set up in-app purchases, you're done with this tutorial, but I'm gonna move right on to getting the settings we need to connect in-app purchases with your Buddy Boss app. Let's head back over to the App Store Connect panel and on the left, find in-app purchases and click manage. Now click on app specific shared secret and we'll generate a new secret. Okay, now copy this and head back over to the Buddy Boss app plugin. Scrolling all the way down to app information again, we're gonna paste this shared secret and click save. All right, now your iOS app is configured, you need to register your bundle IDs in your Google Firebase account. These steps are all covered in our Google Firebase tutorial. Once you're done with Firebase, you can start generating builds for your Buddy Boss app. In addition, you can now set up in-app purchases in App Store Connect and sync them with your in-app purchases set up in your Buddy Boss app's settings. Thanks for watching.